everyone, it's Eliana here. And as you can see, I have a pile of clothes next to me. And today I decided to film fall staples you can thrift. And how do I know that? Because I've thrifted every single one of these things. I didn't put them in a particular order. So we're just gonna go with whatever is first. And I'll just begin. Also disclaimer, if you hear something in the background, to be able to film this video, I had to bribe my dog with the rest of the jar of peanut butter. There isn't much left, so she's licking it. So if you hear chewing or licking, that's what that is. First thing is a really cute blazer. As you can tell, this one is super fall colored, which we absolutely love. And I love that this is like giving plaid, but it's not like plaid in your face. I love this. It's from DKNY. Honestly, you can shop both the men's and women's section for blazers and you'll find a good staple. I found a lot of good pinstripe ones as well if you like the pinstripe trend that's happening and you can even find matching sets. Honestly, feel like these are one of the easiest items to thrift. It might take you a while to find one that you like that fits you exactly how you want it. But for me, I like a good oversized, more boxy blazer. So I feel like it's pretty easy for me to find, but there are always so many in both women's and men's sections, at least in my thrift stores. So highly recommend. The next thing you can thrift is a statement blouse. This is totally up to you and your taste. I normally never would have gravitated towards this. I pulled it like a year ago. I actually thrifted this before the leopard trend was coming back in and I tried it on and it fit me and it was really cute and it was more for the video I was filming because I literally pulled it to make an interesting video and I thought people would like it and I didn't expect to like it as much as I did and now this is one of my absolute staples. I wear it all the time and I get so many compliments on it and I love it. So again, there are so many statement blouses at the thrift store. Again, you can probably find it in the men's section as well if you want just a more boxy button up. But I have found so many different colors, patterns, textures, styles that I feel like this would be very easy. Even if you don't share my taste in fashion, I feel like you will find a blouse that fits your taste in fashion. The next, I got lucky with the brand on this one. I got a free people cardigan. Now, for me, cardigans are a little bit harder to come by, especially nice ones. There's a lot of worn in ones, but this one stood out to me. It was so cute and I did feel like I had to hunt for it. So you may have to hunt for a good cardigan as well, but I highly recommend hunting in the off season, which I know is not helpful for right now, but I do feel like you will find one after enough looking that is just what you're wanting. And I feel like the sweater, at least in my area, they haven't been the most prevalent or full. So this one might be a little bit harder, but after like months and months of looking, I did find one. So there is hope for you as well. A good solid denim jacket. Now I came across a very overpriced, even at the thrift store, Wrangler denim jacket that I still have not forgotten about probably in the past year but like closer to the year mark maybe like nine months ago and i literally have thought about it every time i go thrifting hoping to find it but for cheaper and i just never have but i did find this zara one and the crop is perfect the fit is perfect again this is another one that i see plenty of jean jackets or denim jackets at my local thrift stores. However, they're not always my style, but again, I feel like it's another thing that you can shop in the men's section as well for more options, but I feel like you can find your style, your desired fit and all of that. It might take a little more looking depending on what you actually are looking for. Having a jean jacket that actually fits me well and I feel like is cute makes me wear a jean jacket over just having a jean jacket because it was trendy like years and years ago. I know people say they're timeless, but honestly, I feel like you need to find one that actually fits you in your proportions for it to be worn because I had one that was like almost and I just never wore it and it had been in my closet for like years and years and I finally like just last year got rid of it. So make sure you really like it. A good solid hoodie. Got lucky with this one and it wasn't priced up. I found this TNA cozy zip up hoodie. I'm sure you can find any hoodies, but I feel like a good cozy hoodie, at least for me especially, is a fall and winter staple. I live in a sweat set, I live in a hoodie. I legitimately, even if I got ready for the day, 
I will come home and immediately put on a hoodie or a sweat set once I'm home from whatever I'm doing in the fall and the winter, honestly, and in the summer too. But I'm such a hoodie girl, such a crew neck girl. I wear a sweatshirt every day, but I just feel like you have so many options. And if you look hard enough, you'll find the perfect one you want. And I happen to find one that's in this fall color scheme, which is not good for my color analysis coloring, but I love it. And I'm not just gonna wear only my colors because I like this. Next thing is you can find good staple long sleeve shirts. This one, again, I got lucky is Free People and I needed to replace one of my high neck tops that was too small and I happened to find this one. This one fits me perfectly. I love it. It's a good base layer for the winter just with a cute little neck popping out of like an oversized chunky sweater or even under a blazer or something like that. I feel like this is just so versatile. So I feel like you can find so many good staple and good quality actually basics at the thrift. So there's that one. Similarly to the cardigan, you can also thrift cute sweaters. I love a good sweater. I love that this one is cropped. Um, cropped is really flattering for me because I'm really short, so it makes me appear a little bit taller. So I do like cropped things, but if that's not your taste, there are plenty of non-cropped sweaters that I have come across when thrifting. But how cute is this? Love the color. I feel like it's so cute with dark denim for fall, trousers for fall, so many different ways, layered. There are just so many different things you can do with a good staple cardigan, especially a neutral one. But if you're not a neutral girly, you, I'm sure you can find a colorful one. So you can definitely thrift a good sweater. Getting down to the last few items. Now, I just said trousers and what's up next? This cute pair of trousers that unfortunately I need to replace because they are becoming see-through and getting a hole in the booty. And I don't really want that, but I love these. The fit of these is immaculate. Again, there are so many options, at least in my local thrift store, so I'm sure you'll have similar luck. And there are so many different patterns, colors, textures, styles. If you want a wide leg, if you want a more form-fitted, if you want low-waisted, high-waisted, mid-rise, all of the options. There are literally so many options when I go to the thrift store every single time, doesn't matter what season, they're literally stocked up. So highly recommend a good pair of trousers. It's an easy way to honestly, they're really comfortable if you find the right ones for you. These feel like I'm wearing sweatpants and are more comfortable than wearing denim. So honestly, highly recommend a pair of trousers. I know that sounds like really counterintuitive and these don't wrinkle too much. So that's an extra bonus an added bonus, I guess would be the real way to say that. It is an extra bonus, but an added bonus was really the phrase I was looking for. So highly, highly recommend. So versatile, they elevate any look and I just love them. I will be wearing lots of trousers this fall. The next thing is a good fall dress. Now for me, I live in Southern California, so it doesn't really get that cold. So I can get away with this one before you come for me, but I understand that that's not true for everyone, but I do feel like in early fall, a good staple dress is just nice to have again as a layering piece you can wear tights underneath with knee-high boots depending on the coloring you can put a cardigan over and just wear the dress as a skirt you don't even have to wear tights i don't know it depends on if it's mini midi or maxi what will look good with it but i feel like there are so many ways to style a good staple dress and i loved this one for fall i thought it was so cute just the corduroy and the brown and i can't wait to get i think I should have knee-high brown boots coming within the next week or so and I feel like they'll just look so perfect with this dress and I'll probably wear a long sleeve underneath and or a cardigan or a sweater over the top of this as well so highly recommend a good fall dress whatever that needs to look like for you it needs to look like for you the last two items are my favorite this one I actually did not thrift myself but my grandma found it at a thrift store for me, so we love that. This gorgeous chocolate brown coach bag. I actually had it up on my Depop and then I loved it so much that I took it off and decided to keep it myself because I had made the money to offset the money spent on this bag. So I basically bought it from myself 
um, look at how cute it is. You can find so many good statement and neutral bags, either or, at thrift stores. It might be harder to find Coach in particular, especially not priced up. This was priced up, but my grandma got a discount for me, so I did get it much less than the actual price was at the thrift, but honestly it would have been worth it even if it was that price it was honestly not all that expensive it was 25 dollars if she had bought it full price which for a coach bag is not bad in my opinion i know some people don't like spending that at the thrift but when i find a good item like this that's in such good condition i don't mind paying up at the thrift when i know i would be paying multiple times that for it in any other store so Highly recommend looking through the purses section. It doesn't need to be a name brand. I have found so many nameless, really cute bags. And I just feel like it's just always a solid thrift find and you don't have to go spending 90 to $100 on a bag. Now, the last item is my personal favorite and was another original Depop listing potential. And what I mean by that is at the thrift, when I was thrifting, my mindset was for my Depop until I tried it on and then I knew immediately I was keeping it for me because the fit of this, it's like perfectly boxy but perfectly form-fitted enough for me, which is so hard to find being my height. This leather jacket, 100% genuine leather, and it was like $7. And I've worn this so much already. Again, it's a fall and winter staple. So many thrifts have this in so many different forms, so many different styles. This one happened to just be perfect for me. It might take a little bit of looking because people do look for leather goods at the thrift and that is one of the more popular things to thrift, I feel like. But to be honest, there's always something there and you just really have to go through every single item. That is my biggest tip is go through every single item in the jackets because often the finds like these are hidden and you would never gravitate towards them if you were just kind of scanning the rack. So highly, highly recommend thrifting a good solid leather jacket. It may take some time, like I said, but honestly, it's worth it. So there you have it. Those are all the things that I have been able to thrift for the fall. And I believe that you will be able to thrift for yourself as well for the fall. And honestly, all of these are staples in my wardrobe and I wear them so frequently and have been literally so heavy in outfit rotation this fall however they have been styled a little more towards summer because it's still hot but they're easily you know instead of with shorts with pants i can easily make it more fall i really enjoyed going through my closet and seeing just how many staples in my closet i truly have thrifted and i thought that it would be fun to share it with you and i hope that you get some inspiration for maybe gaps in your closet or things that you want to look for or add to your thrifting wish list as you thrift. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'm thankful you're here. Until next time.